don't want to feed them that. I just want to eat my meat. Most food is produced by factory farming. Essentially, that means it's reared indoors, certainly in the poultry industry. Um, and they use a type of bird that's been so inbred that it actually grows very quickly. Within four weeks, it reaches maturity. Um, they balloon up very quickly. If they were allowed to continue to five or six weeks, they would actually start breaking their own legs through the weight, just disproportionate weight, and lack of exercise, lack of any muscle to actually bind the, the flesh to the bone. So they're incapable of walking by the time they reach five weeks, six weeks. They would just be in chronic pain. A lot of those under four weeks do experience chronic pain because their limbs break. Effectively, they hold each other up. You've got to think of a football stadium-sized shed covered in darkness with birds so densely in there that if you removed one, the one next to it would fall over. We shouldn't be supporting this. We shouldn't be sustaining this system. Factory farming is what most, how most of these animals are reared. We need to increase awareness among the communities. We eat more, much more meat than we require. That in itself results in not very good for our health, quality, not quantity, which is the essence of what our food loss is. Uh, we've got to understand that halal means a lot more than just um, a word, and it's impossible to physically be killing the sort of numbers of animals if you simply just look at the killing process um, in any way that has respect for the animal or any sort of care and consideration. The, the numbers are so vast and Muslim community consume something like 20% of all the meat consumed in the UK. And they're Yet only 5%. We're only 5% yeah. of the population so we're eating four times as much meat as we should. So that's the first point where you have to say that halal has gone wrong. It's not halal to be eating that much meat. It's not halal for our diets to be in that way. And as a result of the imbalance in the diet, you've got to then bring in an industry that can cater for it. So the so-called halal industry is one of factory farming, producing thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions and millions per year. Um, and these are slaughtered in large abattoirs where 100,000 are killed in a day. Now the throughput of those has to be something like, um, I think, you know, less than a second per bird. So it means they're on almost an assembly line process, in many cases with an automated blade, and in some cases a tape recording, speeded up, saying Bismillah Allahu Akbar, but in an unintelligible um, high-pitched drone. So the reality of halal is so far removed from anything that you could call halal. And I think the fact that um, uh, in order to have uh, what we call real halal meat, you know, sustainable meat, takes a long time, a long time to grow, um, and then it takes a long time to um, dispatch it and then, you know, quite a while to pack it properly. Um, that all takes time and it's true, you won't be able to have the fast food, the so-called halal fast food we have, but that's not what we want. That's not what halal is. The fact that it takes a long time is reason to eat less meat. Mm. And also, we know it's a feature of the meat that it actually takes longer to cook as well. So this all comes together, yes. doesn't it? Yeah. It's not a fast food chicken. It's not ideally suited for that yeah. horrible little sort of fast grill and chuck it out and turn over quickly. And that's it's, what halal yeah. is. It isn't mm. fast food. It's holistic food. It's slow food and it's healthy food. So it should take longer and there should be less of it. And that necessarily would mean that Muslims would eat less meat. And that's the point. Mm. They should eat less meat. Thank you.